another three hours and 20 minutes to go. Donna's gonna refuel in the back of the van. Nice up, comfy bed. I set up a little bed back there. I don't know if you can see it. And she's gonna attempt to climb back there and sleep bouncing down the road. Might be more comfortable than the sleep we're gonna get for the next two nights. <laughs> it's hard to say. Night. Don't take off. Quickly. I'm taking off. How's that working? Check in in a couple hours. trail that stupidity right there probably weighs 35 pounds 55 that right there probably weighs about 15 shut the hell up no it doesn't <laughs> so we stopped at Wally World and got dehydrated <laughs> stuff more dehydrated stuff I guess I'll have to tote my own dehydrated stuff got some dehydrated water got some dehydrated water sunscreen but <laughs> I don't think that's gonna be a problem we're off I believe Donna is questioning the weight of her pack. Donna's what? Questioning the weight of her pack. Yeah. It kind of looks like it's going to pull her over backward and she's going to be a turtle laying on her back. <laughs> This doesn't take us to a white blaze. We'll see you back at the van in about an hour.
Yeah, we're struggling a little bit with these heavy packs, but so far, these views definitely worth the price of admission, which is pain. white blazes right over there Thomas Knob shelter 2.9 miles that's where we got to go before dark So the gut hook or far out app says that this loop is something like 2,800 feet of elevation up and down. So it's basically flat. Feel flat? I don't think she thinks it feels flat. Looks like the now we're on blue blaze and we should the sign said AT this way but the blazes are blue so according to my map we were supposed to take a left and we did hopefully we'll find something with a white marker on it soon because otherwise we might be headed the wrong way down the other side of these rocks and we uh you good no we're down the other side of the rocks we're still following this blue blaze we come to another clearing and we'll see some signs out there hopefully those signs don't say you're lost, go 99 miles until you get to the Dairy Queen and ask them where the hell am I? We'll see you in a minute.
Well, that's unfortunate. Let's see what these signs say. That sign didn't say what I wanted it to say. I mean, we're back on the AT. Right here. Yeah, I think we probably could have bypassed that. Sorry. My fault. Thanks to uh, GPS and gut hook, I have figured out that we've been going the right way the whole time. Now, I don't think we have too far to go. I say that every time. It's not that much further. It's just, you know, in the next state. So somewhere up here, somewhere up here they got something called the, I don't know, the fat man squeezer or something you gotta slide through. I forgot all about it. Should have known. We were not there yet, because we hadn't done it. right there a little while ago and that was a complete detour that we didn't need to make every turn it's just keep coming around come through here which looks suspiciously like a bear cave but this is the way wow wish I wasn't doing this in the dark food and walked I don't know about 300 feet or so away and wrapped it up real good in a bag and stashed it so hopefully we have breakfast in the morning we'll see 